This is the trifecta that we're facing right now. Employers need more work out of employees, they need more productivity out of employees, and they need to cut costs. Employees don't want to have to work all the long hours, they don't want to have to go back into the office, and they're demanding more because, well, inflationary pressures are making the cost of living go up. So employees want more, employers don't have the ability to necessarily give more. And then we have the Federal Reserve Bank who was working to decrease inflation. And one of the consequences, the painful consequences of decreasing inflation is increasing unemployment rates because what we've seen throughout history is that when you increase interest rates, you increase unemployment and you slow down the economy. What we've been seeing happen over the last few years is we've been seeing a shift in balance. In 2020, after the pandemic craziness kind of ended, we saw the balance go straight to the employee because employers needed work and employees were willing to work, especially if they could work from home. So employees were able to negotiate a whole bunch of cool things for themselves and were able to work from home. Well, over the last 12 months or so, we've been seeing this power dynamic begin to shift with more and more power going here to the employer. It's not that the employer has a huge upper hand over the employee right now, but you're seeing more of an even balance where employers need work, but employees don't necessarily want to go to work. And so you're kind of seeing this even dynamic right now where employers are being kind of stuck in this position where they need to cut costs, but also increase efficiency. And so they can't necessarily offer all the same benefits that employees are asking for, but you're seeing the power dynamic shift, which is going to be very interesting now as the economy is shifting as well. Like one of the things that we're seeing happen now is a lot of people who took part in the great resignation over the last couple of years are now facing regrets partially because either they don't have the same opportunities that they had before or they're not making the same money as they were before. Now there's been a lot of debate as to what's going on and what's happening. Like when Jerome Powell met with Congress to discuss monetary policy in March of 2023, he was grilled on both sides. You saw some people saying, why are you raising interest rates because it's making the cost of living higher? And why are you raising interest rates because higher interest rates mean higher unemployment. On the other side, you said, why is inflation still so high? Why aren't we being more aggressive with raising interest rates? Well, the reality is inflation is the root cause of kind of what's going on right now in our economic side of the economy slowing down. Over the last number of years, we printed a lot of money. The government spent a lot of money that it didn't have in 2020 and 2021. Now, this government spending didn't really start in 2020. It started way before that. I mean, it started before the 2008 crash. But in 2020, we really put the gas to the metal because of how much money we were printing and how much money we were spending. Now, the government can't just spend money that it doesn't have. It has to get this money from somewhere. So the Federal Reserve Bank had to literally print the money and then give it to the government. Now, while they don't print all this physical dollars, they just push keys on a keyboard and they create digits on a computer. That's how the money is printed. But the money was essentially printed out of thin air. Now, they gave this money to the government, they spent it, and now we saw this huge increase in supply of dollars without an increase in wealth, which increased the buying power because now people weren't producing things, but people had money to spend. Right? Businesses were closed. Nobody was really working during the pandemic, but money was free flowing, whether it was some stimulus checks or unemployment checks or free loans from the government. So people were getting money. They were having the ability to spend. Nothing was being produced. And so now the prices of things started to go up. And now all this money is entering our economy. The trillions and trillions and trillions of dollars that were printed are entering our economy without more wealth being produced. Now, eventually, what's going to happen? Well, the value of the dollar is going to go down. I mean, if the government could just spend money on command, why do you and I have to pay taxes? There's a reason. There's a cost to printing this money. That cost is inflation. Well, now we have to do the opposite of what created the inflation in the first place. If creating the inflation happened by increasing the monetary supply, now we have to do the opposite, which is decreasing the monetary supply. And one way to do that is by raising interest rates. Now, we've been covering what's happening in the economy with Market Briefs, which is my free financial newsletter. It's a simple breakdown of what's happening in things like the economy, the stock market, the housing market, crypto, and the global economy. If you haven't joined Market Briefs yet, I highly recommend you do so because it's a super easy way for you to stay up to date and make smarter investment decisions just because now you'll be more aware of what's happening in the financial world and it's completely free. So if you want to join Market Briefs for free, I'll put the link to how you can join down in the description.
below. If you enjoyed this short clip from my longer videos, here's another clip that I think you'll love and while you're at it, if you're interested in learning more about how to start generating passive income, our team put together an amazing guide on how to start generating passive income for free. All you gotta do is click that button right over there. Thank you for watching and as always, keep hustling. <laughs>